the family members never fail to surprise me at how terrific they are and how brave they are. A lot of the work I do, obviously, is around death and helping people deal with immediate needs after someone they love has died. I am the chaplain for the Maine Warden Service. The Maine Warden Service is the enforcement branch of the Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. They also are charged with wilderness search and rescue operations. They cover freshwater boating accidents, drownings, snowmobile accidents, all-terrain vehicle accidents. They also will do evidence recovery if a crime has been committed in the woods. I am called out for events where there is a good possibility of either significant trauma or death. And my job would be to wait with the family and explain what's going on to help them kind of marshal their resources for dealing with this. When the body is recovered, I will do the death notification, which just means I'll tell them we found his body and he is dead. And then I can be helpful to them, hopefully, in sort of the first few moments of impact of that news. Well, I share with them the experience of losing a loved one because my husband died in 1996. He was a state trooper and was killed in a car accident. I've actually been on the receiving end of the kind of care that I'm hoping that I'm offering them. It is such an, a kind of shattering experience and a, um, such a, a moment of such extreme vulnerability. It was met with so much love and compassion and care right from the beginning. And I think I experienced that as a religious experience, or at least it's as close as I'm likely to get. So it really became, in the long run, my definition of God. I went to seminary, both because it was something Drew was gonna do. After he retired from the state police, he was planning to become a Unitarian minister. But I think a lot of it was just wanting to participate in this overwhelming sense of love and care that I had experienced. If I'm ever asked by a warden or anyone else, if I'm ever asked, where is God in something like this? Why would God let something like this happen? I will say what's true for me, which is that God is not the accident and not the water in the lungs and not the ice that broke. It's that God is always present in love, always. So if you want to see where God is, you look around for where love is coming into this picture. As I said in the book, the rest of it is just biology and physics. That ice will only hold so much weight and a human body can only stand so much cold. But the fact that someone would be willing to go into the woods to try to find me, try with as much compassion and tenderness as he can summon to tell the people who love me that I'm dead and to take care of them in that moment, that's God. That's worth, it's worth worshiping.